So today I thought I would show you something really cool and instead of me explaining it, let me show you. Let me set the camera down. Hold on, rewind that. Let's see that again. So in this tutorial, I'm going to show you how I was able to make the text appear and disappear using keyframes. As you can see here, the text appeared just behind my back. And then uh, when it comes to this part, as you can see, it's disappearing behind the motorcycle. And basically what I did is I just added a mask that's making the, te um, the text uh, disappear as a, as a motorcycle is, is coming through. So let me show you how I quickly made that. Um, I duplicated the clip and I'm gonna start from the beginning. So I'm gonna start by, first of all, adding a title. And I'm just gonna click Control T and that adds a basic title. Uh, I'm gonna go ahead and reposition this. As a matter of fact, I'm gonna make this even simpler on us by uh, making sure that the title sits right around here. So that way we only have to worry about the tires. So if I reposition the title somewhere around here, this is the middle, and let's say right there, and say, hey there. Let's make this even more outstanding, more eye-catching, I mean. So if we let's put this right down the middle, I think that's a good spot right there. So uh, let's move this playhead back. And we're going to say, if we move our playhead one frame to the right by hitting the right arrow key. So right around there is where it starts. That's where we want to start making the text uh, disappear. And we do that by first of all, selecting the title and we're going to add a mask. So if we drop I drop in a mask we can first of all let's zoom in here so we make sure we get an accurate uh, mask happening we can uh, let's see add the first control point um, here we're just gonna go around the tire because that's what we care about let's see and sometimes if you're clicking inside this text box it won't let you add the control points so let's switch this over to p position and then all of a sudden it, it again it lets us add this control point so that was something i was having trouble with you probably experienced this if you don't switch the this arrow is from select to position you might not be able to control the the uh these control points as you want so make sure you that's on let's see let me zoom out for a little bit and we're just going to go around the text and just going to complete it there. So I just made a circle. So whatever is inside this mask will appear. And so here's our playhead. And um, so we have this selected. Let's go over to the video inspector and add keyframes to the control points. The control points are these little red dots. We're going to be moving these four points as the motorcycle moves forward, that way the text starts disappearing. So that's the basic idea. So if we control this plus, now it added keyframes. So let's see, here's where we started. Let's move over to the right by hitting the right arrow key and right there, that's where we start moving our control points. Let's zoom in, let's see. Let's, again, we make sure you have the P, these uh, position selection on. And we're going to be moving these control points over to the right. You can always change the, the feather. Uh, you can move it in. I think I like that. Sometimes I move it over to the left, uh, negative four, whatever you want. You can also change the fall off. It's up to you. Just uh, it, it just gives you some leeway to not be so exact with your point. So I like to bring down the feathering just a little bit. All right. So what we're going to do basically is moving one keyframe at a time by moving our arrow to the right. And again, we move our frame, our control points over to the right to go around the tire because that's what we, what we're using to make the, uh, 
the text disappear. So if you see there, I'm just going around. And this is gonna take a while. <laughs> you know, it's, it's gonna take quite a bit of time. So you're just gonna see me fast forward through this whole thing. Okay, so that's pretty much it. I'm done with the keyframing. If I play this back, let's see. Um, let me switch back to select. I just don't want to move anything anymore. Let's see. Let me play it. So that's the basic premise. I know there's a lot to learn about this. You just have to experiment with it. It's quite time consuming, but over time you just get better at it. And I must say it looks pretty cool to do something like this. So I just want to add that this video was inspired by a question I got in the comment section. And this is actually not the first time I've done this. I've gotten several questions and I made tutorials about it. So if you have anything you're wondering about, whether it's Final Cut Pro X or any camera equipment or stuff like that that you're wondering about, please drop down your suggestions in the comment section and I'll get to them. I read every comment. Also, if you haven't already subscribed, please go ahead and do so because I'm making videos like this every week. All right, so I hope you have a good one and I'll see you on the next video.